If you're like us, you're probably starting to think about making reservations for your 2023 camping season, and we're doing that right now. And we thought what we would do is share with you some of our favorite campgrounds that we've ever stayed at. Welcome back everyone. My name's Patrick. And I'm Patty. And this is another one of our collaboration videos. We've teamed up with five of our RV YouTube friends and we're all gonna be presenting our favorite campgrounds this month to share with you so that as you're looking for places to go stay, maybe it'll help trigger a next adventure. And so we're gonna dig right in with our first one, which is the Fort Wilderness Resort at Walt Disney World. It's awesome, we love it. I think we always say that is probably one of the <laughs> nicest campground we've ever stayed at. Very plush, clean, fancy flowers, gorgeous grass. It's just amazing there. It's exactly what you would expect mm -hmm. from something that Disney is involved right. with. Now they have almost 800 sites at Fort it's Wilderness. Huge. It is huge and we always rent a golf cart just to get around. Oh yeah, that's the fun part. Absolutely. <laughs> now you don't actually need one. They have the bus transportation, mm -hmm. but we should warn you, Fort Wilderness is nice, but it's not cheap. No, it's not. It's the most expensive place we've ever stayed, but you can literally get on a boat right from the campground, take you right to the front gate of the Magic Kingdom. And then from there, you can catch the monorail over to Epcot. You can also use the buses to get to all the other mm -hmm. parks and areas. Well, and there's so much to do there. You don't even have to leave the park if you don't want to. All the pools, you could ride bikes, you can go shopping, you can get food. They have campfires with Chip and Dale. It's just a fun place. Yeah, it's truly a full service resort. <laughs> Resort. Yeah. Number two from Maine, we love Forest Ridge Campground. Our friends Jeff and Lynn are the owners and that place is awesome. We love it because it's quiet, the sites are based out and got lovely grass. It's just really pretty place to be. It's just quiet and lovely. Yeah, and the thing is, it's the perfect location mm -hmm. in our opinion yeah. for exploring the Acadia National Park because it is located off the island, which saves mm -hmm. you money. It's also smaller than those mega parks. Oh, yeah that they have up there. And a lot of people will go out to the island, do Bar Harbor and Acadia National Park, but there's so much more around there to see and do. And this location sets you up to go out and do that. But we just really love the hospitality that oh, Jeff yeah. and Lynn show all of their guests. Our next one is my all time favorite place. And it's probably not for everyone because it's not a campground. No, it's It is National Forest Land, mm -hmm. the Upper View Teton, part of the Bridger Teton. National Forest. Now, it doesn't cost anything to stay there, but there are absolutely no hookups. And it takes a little time to get where you want to park just because the road is kind of rough and ruggedy because it's just National Forest and uh, it's become very popular. It's become really popular. I remember when we first went <laughs> there, there was only a handful mm -hmm. of us that were camping. The last time we were there back in 2020, we almost didn't think we were going to find a spot. No, but we did. <laughs> and speaking of spots, when you go, there are designated oh, areas yeah. for you to camp in and if you don't camp in a designated area you can be ticketed and probably most likely will be and we've seen that happen what's great about it is it's literally across the road from oh, teton yeah. national park and when you get up into oh, the gosh. actual camping mm -hmm. areas the views of the tetons are amazing yeah, in july you see the snow-capped mountain is just beautiful there's no electricity no water no sewer but when you walk out the door of your rv and you see the tetons in the distance it's well worth it next on our list we have one of our favorites that we go to a lot in the winter we've now been there in the summer it's in ohio it's called evergreen park rv resort at mount eaton ohio it is awesome those sites are just well spaced there's uh, beautiful grass in the summer and then in the winter they keep it plowed and they have an indoor swimming pool hot tub um, during the summer there's volleyball and you know gaming inside there's a little camp store, you got laundry, you got a trail you can walk. It's just a lovely park. It's in the heart of Ohio's <laughs> Amish country. So there's so much to go out and see mm -hmm. and do. Great places to eat, shopping. Oh, yeah. Now I should mention, all of the places that we're telling you about today, we have stayed at a minimum of two separate occasions. Right. There are so many places we've been to over the years oh, and so many great places. places. We really had a hard time narrowing this list right. down. Our next one is down in 
in Texas, and it's a Corps of Engineer mm. Park. Now, we love our Corps of oh, Engineer yeah. Parks. We found some awesome ones, some that have even laundry facilities. Those right. are amazing. And so this one we chose, we've stayed there a couple times now, is the Cedar Breaks Corps of Engineer Park near Georgetown, mm -hmm. Texas, which is just up the road from Round Rock yep. where Princess Craft RV is located. Absolutely. Now, these sites had electricity mm -hmm. and you get your own little private covered picnic you area yep. with a grill and a fire pit and it's on a lake like so many of the Corps right. of Engineer parks. I thought it was kind of cool because you were kind of tucked into these, I don't know what kind of trees they were. It was just kind of like magical feeling to it and the, the trees really help in the summer because we've been there in June and we've been there when it's cooler and it's, it's just a cool spot. Um, you can walk, there's places to go look at the lake and sunset because that lake is so big. We were able to see an awesome sunset, so it's just a cool spot to be. All of the Corps of Engineer parks we've ever stayed mm -hmm. at, the rates are lower and they're just well maintained. Mm -hmm. The next one is in Perry, Georgia, called Fair Harbor RV Park. A lot of sites, what is there, like 280? There's like 280, a lot of them I think are seasonal, okay. but it's so clean in the park. Oh, it is, flowers, even the grass. I love I love pretty grass, if you haven't figured that out. And uh, then there's some ponds with some fountains in it. It's easy to get to off the highway when we travel. I think that's why mm -hmm. it's so important mm -hmm. to us, is it's just that easy on, easy off. Mm -hmm. And there's a Cracker Barrel right across the highway right. if you want to go grab breakfast. Mm -hmm. It's just a cute little place, and um, we've always had good luck there getting a site, and, and it's quiet at night, and it's just a nice, peaceful, restful stop. And the staff is always super friendly, <laughs> they too. Are. Um, I think we would be remiss if we did not add this part to our list. We've yep. definitely stayed there several times, and we're going to be staying there a lot more. Right, and the owners have made tremendous changes to it. Uh, many new amenities that it never had before. It's starting to catch people's eye as they're driving down the highway. So what is it, honey? Happy Acres <laughs> RV Park in our hometown of Angle, Indiana. Uh -huh. Now this is a great park and maybe perfect for a lot of you. If you're coming to Indiana to get repair work done on your RV in Elkhart, or maybe you want to come tour the factories, or maybe you want to visit our awesome RV museum yeah. here in Indiana, yeah. this is the perfect location. They're located right at I-6 69 and US 20, just a few minutes south of the Indiana Toll Road, right. and you're less than an hour to the RV capital of the mm -hmm. world. Yeah. And you're right, Angie and Kevin have only owned the park for a little over a year now, and they have made massive improvements. It is just not even recognizable at some point. It's, it's so, nice. so nice. Yeah. And we're actually going to be seasonaling there uh -huh. this summer for something different, yeah. hanging out, and don't worry if you have a big rig. Oh, it's easy. Our friends Bobby mm -hmm. and April from Travels Abound, Bob's Mug coffee yeah. we spent two weeks with uh, happy acres last fall and they have a big 40 foot rig oh, no yeah. issues getting no to it <laughs> and they have nice long full hookup pull through site i'm gonna have patty pop that playlist right up here of our friends videos so you can check them out and find even more great places that you may want to go camping this year until next time everybody we'll see you on down the road bye, bye.